Hi, in this video we are going to be discussing Boyle's Law, one of the gas laws. Boyle's Law represents the relationship between pressure and volume in a gaseous system. If the temperature and number of moles are constant, so if we're investigating how pressure and volume affect each other, we need to hold the other variables present in the system constants. We need to be sure that temperature and amount of gas are not changing. As the pressure of a, on a gas increases, the volume decreases. So if a, the pressure increases, the volume will decrease. Conversely, as the pressure of a gas decreases, the volume increases. One way to think about this is that if the volume is larger, then the particles will travel further before colliding with each other and the walls. So there would be less pressure if the volume was bigger. Uh, Boyle's law strictly states that for a given mass of gas at a constant temperature, the volume of the gas varies inversely with pressure. Inversely simply means that as one goes up the other goes down or as one goes down the other goes up. This is represented by the mathematical equation P1V1 equals P2V2. The P's both represent pressure and the V's both represent volume. Uh, the 1 and the 2 are the distinguishers that we need to pay attention to. P1 and V1 that is the initial pressure and volume. And then something changes to the system, and we end up with P2 and V2, which are the pressure and volume after that change has occurred. When you're reading problems that involve Boyle's Law, you will need to make sure that you correctly identify if it's the initial or second pressure or volume. Uh, this equation is the most important thing um, out of this uh, video that you'll need to be able to apply for problem or two problems um, so make sure you record that. Here's a graph that demonstrates Boyle's law. Um, pressure in kilopascals are on the y-axis and volume uh, is on the x-axis and you can see that this curve shows uh, different states where Boyle's law is true for all of them. Uh, we know that P1V1 equals P2V2. So if we look at P1V1, it lines up at 100 kilopascals and 1 liter of volume. If we multiply those by each other, it will be 100. And then if we look at V2P2, uh, it has 50 kilopascals but 2.0 liters. And if we multiply those, it also equals 100. So that you can see the product of pressure and volume is going to be constant. Here's a sample problem. If you want to, pause the video, um, attempt the problem on your own, and then come back on for the solution. A balloon contains 3.5 liters of hydrogen gas at 101.3 kilopascals of pressure. If the balloon is submerged underwater, which exerts 210 kilopascals of pressure, what is the new volume? So the first thing we need to look at is what types of variables are we dealing with. 3.5 liters indicates volume, and then 101.3 kilopascals indicates pressure. So we will indeed be working with pressure and volume, which means it is appropriate to apply Boyle's Law. There are four different variables in Boyle's Law that we need to gather information from. Likely, three of them will be located in the problem, and we can solve for the fourth variable. The initial pressure, so in this case, the balloon is being submerged underwater. We have values for the balloon before it's submerged, and values for the balloon after it's submerged. So the ones, the pressure and volume with subscript of one, should come before the balloon is submerged in water. 3.5 liters of hydro, oh, we're going to go with pressure first, excuse me, 101.3 kilopascals of pressure is the pressure of the gas before it's submerged. And then 3.5 liters of hydrogen is the volume before it's submerged. After it's submerged, we have a value for pressure, which is 210. But then the question is asking us, what is the new volume? 
So now we've pulled three pieces of information out of this problem, and we can solve for the fourth. If we continue the sample problem here, we have those four or three pieces of info that we've pulled out, and we look at the equation for Boyle's Law. If we plug in all of the variables to their respective places in the equation, you should end up with an equation that looks like this, a value for P1, V1, and then P2, and we are solving for V2. If you put this into your calculator, it is 1.7 liters. So if the pressure increased according to the inverse proportion, it makes sense that the volume decreased. If we take a look at a couple of helpful hints, um, I just demonstrated this first one. Does your answer represent an inverse relationship? If volume is increasing, then pressure should decrease. Or if pressure is increasing, then volume should decrease. Think about your answer and if it makes sense in the context of Boyle's Law. Secondly, if you can identify the, from the problem that temperature is constant, it is most likely appropriate to use Boyle's Law. All three units for pressure that we've learned can be used in these problems. It does not have to be in kilopascals. Read the question carefully, or if you have one value in kilopascals and another value in one of the other two, you may need to convert so that they're the same. The most important point is consistency. But for Boyle's Law, you can use any of these three units. Check the comments for further practice questions. Thank you.